Hello, Shane Dowling here from kangarooecourtofaustralia.com. This is a follow-up to my post last week in relation to Kevin Rudd, Therese Rain and their company Ingius, uh, which was previously known as Direction, uh, Work Directions. Uh, back in 1989, when they set the company up, uh, Kevin Rudd was the chief of staff to the then opposition leader, Wayne Goss. At the end of 1989, December 1989, uh, Wayne Goss won power. So then uh, Kevin Rudd was the chief of staff to the then Premier Wayne Goss. Um, now, on the face of it, it looks very much likely that uh, Kevin Rudd used his position to help facilitate the growth of Theresa's company, which ultimately was her, his company as well. Now, I'm here with Des O'Neill in Brisbane, uh, outside Kevin Rudd's Morningside office, and he, he has some further information. Shane, I'm a former executive member of the State Public Services Federation. That's the unit which covered state public servants in the state of Queensland. It's now known as the Together Union. During the in the course of my duties as a compliant audit officer of the Office of State Revenue, I was required to regularly visit the, uh, the uh, Workers' Compensation Board, particularly the investigations area. In about 1992, during the course of one of those visits, a number of staff complained to me about the fact that they were instructed by senior management to place work directions on the preferred tender list for worker rehabilitation services. They further pointed out that work directions had little or no past track record in providing such services to the Workers' Compensation Board. They were aware of the connection between Trees Rain and work directions and the fact that she was Kevin Rudd's wife, who was Wayne Goss's Chief of Staff. The position of General Manager of the Workers' Compensation Board had been recently advertised and the incumbent uh, individual was unsuccessful in obtaining the position. This, co this was a shock not only to the inv individual but to the staff of the Workers' Compensation Board because he was quite popular and known to be a straight shooter. The successful applicant was an outside appointment. I advised the Workers' Compensation Board staff that I couldn't do anything about their complaint. Shane, I can recall the names of the staff involved but I, I won't say them online because uh, of privacy reasons.